Well, hello everybody, this is 3 Dot Loss No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Giuseppe Gentile winning his first No Prep Kings race at New England Dragway. Now, photo goes directly to their photo owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the 3 Dot Loss No Prep Kings race series and all the other 3 Dot Loss shows. So, Giuseppe Gentile got his first No Prep Kings win today at new england dragway now he's been running extremely fast ever since the beginning of season six and we've seen giuseppe since season three running very strong on npk he used to run a twin turbo mustang that he ran back in season three and he actually made the finals i believe twice if i remember correctly one of them i think was against ryan but that mustang was really fast then he actually brought another Mustang last season with a screw blower. But they ran it, I'm pretty sure, one or two races. And the car really wasn't figured out yet. So they actually put it away. I, honestly, I haven't really seen anything on that Mustang with the screw blown Hemi on it. It made a lot of power, but they were getting it figured out. But then Giuseppe has been running... Chris Michaels Gucci Nova, which is one of the most beautiful cars on NPK. I've seen this car in person back in Palm Beach last year, and Bodie was driving it back then, and the car is absolutely beautiful. Now, back then it had a twin turbo setup, but now this year they went to a Pro Charger 140 1. That Noonan Hemi is big, I'm pretty sure it's 572 cubic inches or somewhere in between so it's a big cubic inch noonan motor with a pro charger and the car was built by leverage for race cars and this car ran extremely good today very consistent very fast he basically defeated kayla morton ryan and a bunch of other heavy hitters so giuseppe's definitely one of the fastest cars out there right now and i'm pretty sure he is number three in points right now. He is still behind Damon, but he is behind Kai by only one round or so. So the top three is very, very close in points right now. So let's see what happens after the break. I know the guys that are struggling right now will get it together and figure it out. So everybody could be even faster when they return in august i believe the race is in tulsa which is a very fast track so we will have to see how giuseppe does and the front runners on the invitational do so tomorrow we'll talk about the point standings once the street outlaws that guy gets that calculated today and i'll do a video on that and on the team stats tomorrow so awesome